So here we go with part two of my 169 pixel uh, LED array. Now uh, what I've done here is uh, starting at the top left hand corner which this will be pixel number one. Um, I've connected one of these little uh, JST connectors onto here. I've, I've cut, the, cut the 5 volt line off there because uh, because of what I'm actually connecting it to, but uh, so I'm actually running the data and the ground straight into the first pixel. So that says DI, so that's data in. So the run of these pixels will go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, all the way along till we get to the end. And then at the end, the green wire here is the data out of the last one. And it goes back round into the data in of the next one. I've also connected up the ground and the 5 volts all the way through so that the strings will run through to the next one and then we've got another green loop which is the data out down to the data in again. This continues all the way down to the very very end where the very last connection on here is the data out and I can get it focused in the final data out is um, not connected this one here not connected but yet the 5 volts and the ground are connected and this is where I'm going to connect my supply into so at the moment this end is data connected to the JST plug now my JST plug comes straight from this little board which uh, is, is essentially a Arduino Nano um, which has got uh, a FTDI uh, FT232RL chip on here which is very handy because with that chip on there this board then uh, poses as a um, uh, open NTEC DMS DMX open NTEC DMX device so that way I can connect this device straight into a USB and I can run it from standard software off my PC so the DMX will come through the USB into this board which I'm decoding it from DMX into the what's called the NRZ or NZR, can't remember which way around it is, NZR, which is the data that's required to run all of these pixels like this. I think the refresh rate will probably be well it is what it is. It's whatever the uh whatever the PC software that I'm running is running as a refresh. That's what this will do. So I've actually managed to write the software so this this will refresh every LED uh, on every uh, frame of uh, DMX that comes in. Like I said, down at this end, uh, I'm just going to have a, a connection which is uh, 5 volts and ground, which is going to be connected into this power supply, uh, which I got from eBay. Let's hope it all works. It, uh, it's going to give me 5 volts. At 10 amps, uh, it could do. Sometimes these things have a habit of blowing up, but uh, I think it was about uh, seven or eight pounds for a, a 50 watt supply, which isn't bad really. It's unlikely I'm going to use all 50 watts uh, on this board, but uh, we'll see. So I'm going to wire this up and we'll see where we go from there. Mm.